Can our own Jamaican ganja be the cure for the dreaded coronavirus? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to the People's Forum of Industries with Big Stone. Jamaican scientist Dr. Henry Lowe is awaiting approval of a patent for a cannabis-based drug that could be a winning remedy for the novel coronavirus. A source said that Lowe will have to wait in line for a couple of weeks before knowing if the drug proved useless against COVID-19. Lowe and other partners on the project previously received positive feedback that indicated that his cannabis drug had been tested and found to be effective against some members of the family of coronaviruses. The novel coronaviruses, also called SARS, COV-2, has distinguished itself from its family by its contagiousness and death rate. COVID-19 first emerged in Wuhan, China in December 2019 and has later snowballed into a global pandemic, claiming almost 70,000 lives from more than 1.2 million infections. Lowe is a renowned Jamaican scientist who is widely recognized for his extensive research in the use of marijuana to treat cancer and other diseases. Through his company, Biotech Research and Development Institute Limited, Lowe has received approval from the United States Patent Office for a cannabis-based drug used for treating glaucoma, myopia, and nearsightedness. Jamaica's decriminalization of ganja has opened up the market for Lowe and other investors interested in the medical marijuana market. Agriculture Minister Audley Shaw believed that the emerging medical ganja industry will become one of Jamaica's fastest growing sectors and could be worth as much as 16 billion Jamaican dollars by the year 2022. The global industry has been estimated at US 500 billion dollars. Lowe has been building out his investment in recent years with Canadian firm Atlas Biotechnologies Incorporated injected US 5.75 million dollars for a stake in Flavor Cure, a US registered company owned by Lowe. The Jamaica's outfit was valued in 2018 at US $29 million. Flavor Cure is one company within the Eden Gardens group of companies held by Lowe. Attempt yesterday to reach Lowe for comment on the development was unsuccessful. Can you imagine, ladies and gentlemen, if all the tests come back positive, Jamaica will be again on the map. What a beautiful experience to know that the drug, that Rastafarian was humiliated, beaten and trimmed. It is now the drug that can cure the world of the dreaded coronavirus. I had no doubt in my mind that ganja was a very essential plant. It is so essential that they tried to outlaw this plant, this medicinal plant years ago in the United States and to see that it is this plant that is now being sought after to cure the world pandemic of the coronavirus. My artist, a friend of mine, Prophecy Isis, wrote a song 19 years ago and he re-recorded that song on my Big Stone Records label. The name of the song is Bloody War. Can you imagine? He made certain predictions in the song. 
He said, no plane is going to fly in this war. No ship is going to fly in this war. All the institution will be locked down in this war. And we must prepare ourselves for this bloody war. We must plan some food in this bloody war. And that is what I'm saying to Jamaica. Plan some food. Get back to the fields. Get back to planting food. Remember, your food is your medicine. And let your medicine be your food. Eat well. Walk good. Take care of yourself. Practice uh, social distancing. But remember, there is an almighty God. And that God has given us hope. And this hope is our own kanja that they have refused for us many years ago. Thank you very much for watching. And please, go smoke a spliff because kanja will be the cure. Thank you.